So what's better than your stock airbox filter and snow guard? A drop-in filter with free-flowing air. What's better than this? A full-on intake. And it's going on this thing. So a little bit more about the 034 full intake system for the MK8 Mark 8R and Audi 8Y S3. Comes with this uh, hardware, little bolts and nuts and everything just so you can adapt all these uh, different holes and plugs and all that. Um, you do have to insert the grommets. There's three different slots, three different ports, one, two, and then the last one is back here. So you have to put those in. I found the easiest was using a flathead screwdriver, just kind of pry it in there. Pretty much a straightforward install. I did do a, uh, a modified airbox intake install in a previous video, so I'll link that if you want to reference that. But I'm just gonna jump over to this section right here and how to hook this stuff up. It's not that hard, guys, but uh, you know, it just takes a little bit of patience. What I do like is also this weather strip right here. And you do have to um, uh, put this on yourself, but with the weather strip, it kind of creates a full seal. So when the hood is closed, it hits snug right here and kind of creates like this uh, sealed off effect of um, not allowing the hot rising air to get sucked in from the top. Fully seals that right here using this. So that's a pretty nice uh, feature right there. Carbon fiber piece of it, pretty light. It felt super light out the box. Once I added these little rubber grommets, then all of a sudden it felt weighted at the corners there, but um, just kind of just shows you how light it is that these rubber pieces affect like the tilting. And just to put into perspective on the size of this thing, here is a one quart bottle of engine oil from Liquid Molly. Let's put it next to our new intake system. Kind of get a feel here for that. So you kind of see the size difference here. Just, um, just how big this thing is. Here we go. Look at that. But overall, it's a nice quality looking piece. Let's go ahead and get right into the install. So one thing I do want to point out is before you even install the intake in here, you want to go ahead and take care of this issue before you start to bolt everything up. This sensor right here as it sits, it's really close and it's, it's, uh, it touches the, um, the intake hose. I decided to just kind of, you could like shave it down or something. Shave it down, cut it, break it, whatever. And just take off that sharp edge. You can see the edge on this side is uh, more prominent and then this side is kind of just cut. So you're gonna wanna take care of that so that way when it sits on it, it's not um, stabbing or digging into it. So now we can plug it back in. And then should be good to go. Honestly, it's not like the prettiest, cleanest look. If we had just moved this like an inch over, it would be fine, perfect. But let's bring the big old intake in here and assemble this thing. Carbon fiber part. You just want to line it up with the grommets. And we're going to push these tabs in. Okay, there's one, there's two, and then the last one back here, and there's three. Perfect. All right, so stock airbox right here. You can see big, bulky, enclosed. And then here, we have the 034 Motorsport full intake. I did take off the engine cover just to kind of get some clearance and tightening and reaching my hand under to check cables and stuff. Um, oh, can't forget to plug this in. I'll do that in a moment, but this is it. It's uh. It's pretty self-explanatory. I, I didn't really feel like filming step by step. It's really just, you put it on, you tighten up the clamps. Clearance back there is crazy tight. So keep that in mind. The turbo inlet on the Mark A to go for and S3, it's very stubby. So this hose doesn't have much to clamp onto. If you try to push it down further and then tilt it this way, 
It's gonna hit this and more of that sensor right there. So you're kind of forced to tilt it back over this way and then bring everything through through all this right here. I found it easier actually to um, not use the uh, the bracket. Uh, you can see that little piece right there. Right there, that. I didn't mount it to the base here. It was making things a little bit challenging in order to line everything up. But that's just me. You could probably have a different outcome. But for me, I want to keep it super simple. Maybe later on, I'll go ahead and bolt that down. But for now, um, it's pretty snug through this opening here. This thing is fat, man. It's wide. The conical uh, filter is also really nice. So overall, it's a good piece. Got it clamped down really nice and snug here and then here as well. So overall, this I like how it actually like changes direction just a little bit. It's a little canted to the side. Because when you think about when the airflow comes in through here, like that, and then goes through, it's nice that this is going to um, be exposed here. So that's pretty good. And then with the weather strip, when you shut the hood, it kind of works as a closed box. Um, yet it's still open from this side. You get the turbo noise and everything. So that's pretty much it. I would say the most challenging part is working on the back side there just because of how much clearance there is and if you have bigger hands or longer fingers it's a little bit harder but other than that front piece is super easy um you know put that back down but that's pretty much it so now let's go ahead and switch over to some sound clips and uh some pulls So what can we say about the 034 S34 intake? Well, it's way loud in person. The camera does not do justice. With the camera up front underneath the hood there, that's just the raw audio. There's no external mic attached to that. It it's That one is pretty accurate, but the in-cabin sound uh, while driving, uh, the camera kind of tones it down a little bit. In real life, it's, it's a little bit more prominent, it's more loud, you can hear it a lot better. Coming down the street, if you were to just give it some sushi noises, uh, people will turn their heads for sure. You know, you can hear it coming down the street, which is really nice. And because this is a full factory exhaust, all you hear is intake noises and it just sounds so good with the turbo spool. In terms of drivability, I did feel a little bit, a, a tad bit quicker spool up. And then also with the mid-range torque, I felt like it just kicked in a little bit harder, a little bit sooner, which is nice. Overall, this is a good buy. I would say if I could do it again, yes, I would. I love how this thing looks. I love the overall quality and feel of it. It sounds great. And I noticed uh, this combined with the natural crackle and pops from the stock exhaust is just such a good combination there, guys. All we need now is some ethanol and you know, we'll be... Uh, will be pulling pretty good right now it's still on 91 octane so you know it's it's quick but um i know there's more potential there we just need to unlock it right <laughs> now but overall I'm, I'm happy with this intake this is actually one of the mods that i would say i was so happy for like taking it on the first drive and everything i i, I knew i would like it but i didn't think i would like it this much so overall, this is great. Uh, I'm, I'm overall happy with it. So yeah, hopefully this video helps and hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.